often overlooked, it's a humble try and proclaim. So just come back over to this princess. This belongs to a friend of mine, Paul. I didn't realise he was coming up today. Thanks for organising this pre-arranged meeting where I'm pretending that I'd only just seen it. Noisy Spitfire. And here we have the FD1 Ernest Club. Well, that was nice. We've just done a whistle stop tour of the museum. Very busy, guys. Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week I'm back at the British Motor Museum. I've come here for the BLBMC day. It's a collection of British Land and Heritage cars. All makes and models from Triumph, Austin, Rover. We're going to see all sorts today. It's going to be a good turnout. So, um, without further ado, let's see what's turned up. It's part of the Triumph Club here. There'll be Herald. Is that a TR4? Stag. TR7. A couple more stags. That's cool, like the patina on that. Of course it's not all classics here, there's some modern stuff here as well. Let's have a quick look at these Range Rovers. Some P38. And classic Range Rover, it's the original there. Oh, but they're different, they? Well, there's still plenty of vehicles arriving, so let's get in the lineup and just see what's turning up. Beautiful princess there, and a little metro. Look at that old BT van. So many maestros. There are quite a few cars here today, so I can't, I'm not going to be able to film them all, guys, but I'm going to have a walk around and just show you my favourites. There's a police car here, so we ought to have a look at that. Look at this, guys. This is a Rover 827 SI. It's used by the Met. Look at that one. Montego there. Countryman, that's the estate version. And we have some MGS. Rovers. 
The 600 series, I forget. Ready. Hello. How are you? Yeah, 600, this being a 620. Have the Metro Club stand here. Colin's beautiful show as well, we saw that at the 50th. And this is a car of some YouTube fame, this is on Project Nigel, um, it was featured as a show car. Um, it was up for sale a little while ago and uh, luckily I think it's had a couple of owners since then, but not an original colour but it is nice and lo a lovely example. Series 3, again we saw most of these at the uh, 50th. And on the end here we have Mr Matthews, Agatha. I will chat to him in a bit if we can find him because there's uh, quite a lot to see here today. Let's, uh, let's soldier on. Here's some of the Rover 200 and 400 owners club. <laughs> it's funny because I remember cars like this from my childhood. They were everywhere but you just don't see them anymore. The 200 series. Lovely colour that one. Quite aggressive wheels on that one. Oh. All set for sale. Couple more Tomcats. And this is the Van de, this is the Van der Pla owners club or van der Plas. This is the uh, 1800 and Land Crab Owners Club. I've just come back over to this princess. This belongs to a friend of mine, Paul. I didn't realise he was coming up today. That's his um, Austin Princess. So 2200. Here we have a beautiful Wolsey 1300. Love the colour. And a gorgeous series one there. Complete with vinyl roof. Allegra, of course. Austin Maxi. We saw this one coming in. The Maxi 200. Look at that, that's, that's stunning. What an example! And here we have the SD1 Ernest Club. Always been a fan of these. Well, one's got the bond open, so it'd be rude not to go and have a quick peek. Oh, I think some discreet modification on this one. Very nice. Love the colour. Another Series 1 in avocado. That's the official colour for it. I'm not sure this is a factory colour, but that's quite uh, bold. Good to see. And representing the older class of MG in Austin. With this beautiful MG there. Not sure what model it is. I think it might be a magnet. Look at this gorgeous Riley. It was Reach Group. I don't think it ever came This is the MG Midget and Sprite Club. A few examples here representing the brand. <laughs> I 
But yeah, still absolutely loads to see. So let's crack on, carry on walking. Then I think a cup of tea. Very much American style. This is a 1950s Austin A90 Atlantic convertible. Very heavily influenced by American cars of the time. Well, I've seen it and can't remember the last time I saw it, if I've ever seen one of those in the flesh actually. Is that a Metropo yeah, Metropolitan MG Standard Vanguard? Lovely. Beautiful example. Here we have a Maxi 1750 GT. Beautiful original Mini. Gorgeous Riley there. Wolseley. And this Maestro belongs to my friend Dan. He's come with his friend today. First time I've seen this one in the flesh. Um, Mum, if you're watching, do you remember this car? We had one of these in the 1980s when we lived up in Orkney. Often overlooked, it's a humble triumph of claim. Let's take a closer look. It's awesome to see. A few more. Fantastic shade of beige there. Love the colour of that one. This has got some go faster stripes. Are they rover wheels? Yeah, that's cool. Another Allegro turned up. That's Colin's series one again. We saw that arrive, I think. <laughs> you won't find your marbles in there. Ricky, hello. Hello. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Thanks for organising this pre-arranged meeting where I'm pretending that I'd only just seen you. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> he said to me, can I pretend I've just met you? I went, certainly. I did. This is true, though. So. Um, Favourite car of the show? Have you spotted anything you like? Uh, yeah, this Allegro here. Yeah. Very nice. It's for sale, sir. I can do a good price on it. <laughs> Grand. Sold. Excellent. <laughs> Check in the post, yeah? Excellent. And here we have the Jowlett Car Club. Lovely tour there. Lovely. It's a YouTube crossover. It's Ian and Carly from Hubner. Hello. Hello. How are you, you doing? Go. Very well, thank you. <laughs> Noisy Spitfire. Have you seen a favourite car yet today, guys? Oh, we start to pick one. There's so much variety here. I've just noticed the Allegro Keep. That is something you don't see very often. And also, I get trouble to go Yeah, we're still only seeing half the show. We are struggling to get around. Oh, there you go. Crack on. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, see you later. Take care. Thanks. See you. Right, well that was nice, I've just done a whistle stop tour of the museum, very busy. And just caught up with Ian and Carly from Havenout, which is nice, just had a quick chat with them. But again, um, they get a lot of fans, so we didn't have a chance to just stop talking to them for too long. But it's nice to speak to them regardless. Uh, we're just going to go and have a look at some Morris Miners. And here we have the TR register stand. TR 8s alike. A smattering of TR6s here. Some lovely examples. <laughs> and TR4, that's a works rally example. Lovely. We're now into the overflow parking. This is a little mini on its own there. Another van and plan, I'm not sure what model that is. Oh, and find out. Oh, it's a Princess 4 litre. Lovely. And here we have the Wolsey version of the Princess. 
complete with twin carbs. <laughs> Lovely. At the start of this line up we've got a Bristol 2 litre and then onto the Moggy Miners of which there are a few. If you guys are looking for a classic car to start off with the Morris Miners is very affordable still and there's a great spares uh, club for them. You can pretty much get every part to rebuild a car from you. Pretty example. Onto the uh, travellers there. It's like patina on that example there, it's nice. A soft top convertible. That is Miranda apparently. Oh mate. Dunno. Maybe there's a YouTube channel. Like that uh, traveller there, it's got a dog garden back. Hope they haven't bought the dog today because it's quite warm. Early example there. It's Matilda. I know that because I just read it. <laughs> oh, look at this flatbed pickup. Lovely. And uh, because they're not all standard colours. That's um, yeah, different. So, guys, just spotted that in the overflow parking. Worth a quick shot. Our first uh, P6 of the day. Where are all the other P6s? I'm, there must be a club stand somewhere. This is a Series 1. Oh. Got a Tomcat going past there. TC according to the badge. MGF. Lovely TR6 there, gorgeous colour. Lovely mini there, nice example. Triumph Dynamite 1500. GT6. A quick peek under the bonnet. Lovely. Damon V8 there, lovely example. But I've just missed, Gary's pointed out. And before I go any further, Rover SD1, WH making about 1980, it's a 2.6 or 2.6 litre. Original wheel trims, original plates as well by the look of it. A gorgeous colour. Gorgeous Damon the double six coupe there. With the MG. Another MG there. This is why I don't like red cars, because lack appeal guys, but it's here, it's part of the show, that's what it's all about. Obviously the birds didn't approve of that one. <laughs> and just because Alex will be watching, it's a Rover 105. I've got a thing for these. Maybe I should get one. And here we have a Series 1 Land Rover Discovery. Lovely. Rover 75 in beige. Lovely Mini Clubman. Clubman Estate. Rather care worn. Is that Mayfair? G Reg? That's a, a Sprite. Beautiful early example there. What year is that? That's Mildred and she's from 
Lovely. Look at that, it's a metro mosaic. Wow, how 80s is that? A few more on this side. That is a fantastic example. Love the front end, love the colour. If that car's not called Rita, come on guys, what are you doing? It's a great reg. Going for the rally look with that one. Another TR6. Another Clubman GT. And a mini pickup, lovely. Look at this, a fantastic Jaguar touring car, guys. And here we have a splattering of Rover BRMs. And representing the commercial side, we've got some LDVs here. It's a colourful example. Flatbed pickup. I like that raw snow. Camper conversion. A Morrison and Thames there. Lovely. Well, I must have walked straight past them. Here's some more P6s. Got a Series 1 and a Series 2 V8. Well, what a fantastic day out, guys. It's been well worth coming along. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Until next week, I shall see you very much soon. Goodbye.